I know what you're thinking. Yay, he's going to work on the Chevy van again. Sorry. Not today. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Work on something different. Today we're working on this 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Has 4.0 liter. Automatic. Got some starting issues. I need to address. Fixed it last year and the part only lasted about three months. So we're going to do it all over again. The problem is the fuel pressure regulator. I'll go over the symptoms and we'll check it. Then we'll replace it. The issue I'm having with it is a crank and no start or no hurry to start, I guess. Flip the key on, crank it. Flip the key off, clip it back on. Sometimes it'll start right back up. Pop the hood and I'll show you what's going on. Here's the regulator that I got this time. There's part number. It comes with the regulator, this little foam gasket, and this little clip that holds it on. All for only 150 bucks. What a deal. No. Nope. Have the fuel pressure tester hooked up. Well, I'll flip on the key. We'll see what happens. As you can see, the fuel pressure went up to about 50. That's where it's supposed to be. And then it dropped all the way back to nothing. And it's supposed to hold pressure. So that when you crank it, it fires right off. I'll go ahead and crank it over now. It actually started the first time that time, but normally it doesn't. It usually takes two or three tries. The previous fuel pressure regulator that I changed before this one, though, it would get to the point that when you would stop at a stoplight or whatever, it would drop fuel pressure and then the check engine light would come on and it would show a lean burn, but it would come up as an O2 sensor. So if you have that issue, it's probably your fuel pressure regulator. Check the pressure. Before you remove the regulator or the fuel pump, whichever you're doing, make sure you unhook your battery first and let the pressure off the line as you can see it has no pressure any because it won't hold it anymore so i don't have to worry about that part so last time i did this i dropped the gas tank all the way this time i think i'm just going to see if i can drop it enough to get the regulator changed you got these two straps on the bottom here bolt up in the front I think it's like a 14 millimeter or something. Then you got these two hoses here. I think I'm gonna leave the hoses this time and see if I can just drop it enough to reach up in there. Don't need to really get any tools in there or anything. Well, the nut is actually a 9 16 um, If you're doing this, deep well socket is gonna be your best friend. But if you don't have one and you're using a wrench, but don't fret, you only have to unscrew it about an inch or so, and then you can lift the whole thing up and unhook it at the top. Most gas tanks are made that way. Okay, so I got this strap loose. This is what I was talking about. That goes into a little notch, so once you loosen the nut so far, you can just push this up, slip it out of that notch, and drop the strap. Okay, so I got the gas tank dropped down. There's the culprit. I need to unhook this line here, and then I can take that off and put the new one in. It's going pretty quick. All right, got the old regulator out. Here's the new one. They look the same. Just need to take this plastic clip off here, put it on here for the fuel line, pop it back in, put everything back together. Easy peasy. 
Make sure you put a little bit of lube on these O-rings before you stick it back in. You don't want to put O-rings in dry. I just used a little bit of penetrating oil, but you could use whatever. Gasoline, a little oil. Anything's better than nothing. Alright, the gas tank is back in. That was pretty painless. I'd say I did it in probably a half hour. Uh, let's test it. Alright, it's time to test it. I'm going to click the key on and off a few times. Then I'm going to check for leaks. And then we'll fire it up. Alright, the battery's hooked up now, so let's give it a shot. It's holding pressure, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go check for leaks real quick and then we'll fire it up. No leaks, here we go. Still holding pressure, that's awesome. Glad to finally have this taken care of. Been dealing with it for a couple years now. Next thing to do is test it out. I don't mean take it to Walmart. I think I should get some dirt on the tires. Would you like to go along too? Yeah? Cool. Let me clean everything up and we'll go for a ride. Okay, so we made it out to the trail. It's a nice day. Take you for a ride. Set up the time lapse. Here we go.
Okay, so we took it out in the dirt today. It's nice to see the wild horses out. Hope they showed up in the video. If there's anything you liked about the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.